What is up guys, Julius here, and today I'll give you my take on how you can create a neon text effect inside Adobe Premiere Pro. Without further ado, let's get started. So I'm here in my Premiere, where I prepared a blank sequence, and the first step to creating this effect is to create some text. I'm gonna press T here to get my type tool. Alternatively, you could click down here. I'm gonna type in NEON in all caps, just like so. Next up, I'm gonna come up into window up here, and I'm gonna click on Essential Graphics. to get our Essential Graphics panel over here. And what I want to do before we start creating the effect is just change the text a little bit. So I'm going to search for a font called Neon. This is one I downloaded free online. I'm going to change the scale to 400. And I'm going to center the text. Next up, I'm going to change the fill to F000FF. This is like a vibrant pink color. I think this goes very nice with Neon. Next up, I'm going to duplicate this layer here five times like so and what i want to do here is to layer one two one two three and five i want to apply a the effect called gaussian blur like so once that is done we are gonna play around with the gaussian blur and the effects a little bit on layer one i'm gonna change the blurriness to 1200 on layer two i'm gonna change the blurriness to 750 on layer three i'm gonna change the blurriness to 500 and on layer one, I'm gonna change the blurriness to 100. I think this really sells the neon look here. You can see all these layers that have an impact here if I hide them. You can see they all do their individual part to give this look here. But what I think is super important is having this clip on top of the clip with no Gaussian blur, just to really sell that the text is glowing, right? And what I also want to do here is in our bottom clip, I wanna enable stroke. And with the stroke enabled, we can play around a little bit more with the blur. Inside the stroke here, I'm going to use the color code 87008F. This is like a darker purple. And in here, you can see that when we play around here with the stroke, we kind of also play around with the blur here, right? I just want to put it to three here in this case. Next up, I'm going to select all of our layers, drag them up once. I'm just going to duplicate a layer underneath here. This is like an optional step. And I'm just going to delete the Gaussian blur here. What I want to do then is search for an effect called vertical flip. This one here and apply that one. And we're going to move the position a little bit. So it looks like it's underneath the text here. Something like this, I think. And of course, I'm just going to remove the stroke here. Next up, I'm going to search for an effect called linear wipe. And on the linear wipe, I'm going to change the wipe angle to zero like so. And I am going to put the transition complete to something like 30. And I'm going to crank up the feather a lot here. And what you can see that we're doing here is kind of creating like a beautiful reflection. Of course, I'm also going to add a Gaussian blur to this one. Notice it, it gets placed on top of the linear wire. And I'm just going to put something subtle here, like 25%. Now, as you can see, if I go full screen here, we get this beautiful, beautiful glow underneath and it looks like a reflection. All right, so we have all these layers here, right? And let's say I want to change the color of the glow because I'm not happy with it. How can we do that quickly without having to change the individual glow color every time? It's pretty simple here. You have all your titles, you select them, nest them like so. I'm going to search for a fake called Lumetri Color. I'm going to apply that. I'm going to go into basic correction. And I'm going to play around with the temperature here. And now you can see we can very simply just create or change the way that the. Very simply just change the way that the, the text it looks. Also, maybe play around with the saturation. Something like this could maybe look cool. I don't know. But this is, of course, up to you, right? What you want. I think this can, could kind of look cool. So don't. I mean, when you're making a scene. Go with something you would think looks cool, but maybe consider once you're done with the glow, going into Lumetri Color and seeing if there's something that looks even more cool. Maybe, who knows? But anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and learned something new. If you did, then please consider subscribing, dropping a comment down below and liking the video to help me get more reach. But anyways, take care guys. Bye bye.